It's fucking Thursday. Did you know what today was, guys? Do you, does anybody know what, what today is? What, what is this on my screen? Does anybody care what today is? Today's Thursday. Now, why, why, why am I complaining about Thursday? Why did I decide to walk in from the left? Or, well, yeah. Why did my phone decide to fall down? Well, it all started on Monday when my um, when I forgot that my coworker was having a baby. Uh, the coworker who is ha just so happens to be a uh, first shift the, the the first shift yard dog guy. So I have been going in every single morning since Tuesday at. 10 o'clock in the morning and let me just tell you that I am currently exhausted I'm tired I'm freaking my, my sides killing me my side my my back's kind of killing me my foot my right leg is actually killing me I had a headache. I had a massive headache yesterday. Um, and again, this was all since Tuesday. Now, before I get any complaints, let's just say that I worked from 10 a.m. to midnight, starting Tuesday. Now, my shift doesn't usually end until around midnight 30 but I can usually get off just a little bit before that. And even so, because I got to get 10 hours before, <clears throat> before coming in at 10 a.m. the following morning. So I have to literally just be off right as it, like either right before it gets to midnight and I literally just tick on the one minute. I usually leave about five minutes before, and I usually just round it up to, to the next hour because it's 11.55. I doubt anybody cares. But with that being said, I round it off so I can get my 10 hours of sleep, required sleep, required, well, I want to say required sleep, but required um, off-duty status, DOT-wise, so I can still be legally working the, the the next morning so i'm constantly working well i i've been working these 14 hour shifts since tuesday and i could have you know had a 14 hour shift on monday if i remembered oh wait a minute my co-workers uh having a baby maybe just go in for him um uh, early monday and uh, i'll just tell my boss hey i'll be here this early every single day for the rest of the week because might as well um but i i kind of forgot i went in at one o'clock monday and um i ended up texting hey i'll be coming in uh early all week to cover for for um for the guy so don't worry they thought that i was going to come in at one o'clock what they didn't realize is that I came in at 10 and they were wondering, why are you here so early? And I was like, I told you I was going to come in early. And the other dude was like, boss said you were going to come in at one. I said, no, I said early. I want to try to get as much help as possible. So, you know, and a little extra cash never hurts. So, you know, I'll, I'll just write on there, covered, uh, covered first shift. Um, came in early to cover for first shift, basically. But at the end of the day, um, hey, I'm going to have one hell of a paycheck, which, you know, will help in the long run. In fact, I, uh, that, that might be 
rent uh, with with that <clears throat> with next week's paycheck. So you know, it just really depends on what happens. But at the end of the day, I am exhausted. I'm tired. I I don't even know if I even want to stream on Friday. So just get ready for me being figuratively tired at the end of the week. Oh, I have a complaint. So I got these donuts, these Krispy Kreme donuts at my local Kroger here. Uh, it has no sell by, has no sell by date. And uh, yeah, there's there's literally no sell by date. There's nothing that says must sell by or expires or whatever. And by God, it's stale. I'm actually very, very pissed about that. Because <coughs> I, I got a gallon of chocolate milk. And that's what I was going to have this morning. I was going to have those donuts. And uh, they're stale. So there's no sell by date. I'm figuratively upset because that's a waste of $20. So that's $20 I'm never going to see again. In fact, I have a receipt. Could just simply tell them, hey, look, I got this on Monday. See if I can't find it real quick. I got this on Monday and it's stale. Or not Monday, Tuesday. It was either Monday or Tuesday that I made this big ass purchase. Or no, Sunday, excuse me. I don't even know where the hell it is. Okay, so it wasn't twenty dollars. It's a waste of four dollars, but it doesn't that doesn't make it any better. It's still a waste of money that the damn things go stale before I'm even able to enjoy them. And the only reason why I what uh, I didn't enjoy them. The previous mornings was because I literally just slept in until around now, like right now, being nine o'clock, almost nine thirty actually, and no time to even get a bowl of cereal. I just hop on over to uh, Burger King, get myself a uh, a breakfast meal, and then hop on to work. I can do that since Burger King's on the way. I don't have to go cross the street to uh, to Wendy's or I don't have to go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts. There's no Starbucks near me. The nearest Starbucks is like a 10 minute drive and I just don't have time to go 10 minutes out of my way just for a fucking thing of coffee. I got my own coffee. So if I really wanted coffee that bad, I could just make my own coffee and just bring my tumbler. I really, really wanted to, but that's not exactly an option right now because I'm just, well, I just have very little time. Um, tomorrow being Friday, uh, will be the last day that I'll be waking up at around 10 AM, uh, or at least for now. Uh, I'm going to set up my racing wheel. We'll do, uh, uh, some eye racing. Um, hopefully when I get home. Friday, I'll uh, I'll see if I can't set it up right here. I know I have a uh, a plug right here, so I'm gonna have to make sure I hit my light switch so I can uh, get VR and uh, the racing wheel and whatnot over here. And since I'm right next to the light, it shouldn't be a big problem. Plus, you know, it's it'd still be daytime by the time I get home, so I just. It's whatever at the end of the day. 
Also, tomorrow, being Friday, is uh, King of the Arena in VWE. Uh, for those that don't know what King of the Arena is, it's basically like WWE's King of the Ring. Um, except in VWE, I know the, um, the women's get a championship opportunity. Uh, I can't remember for what championship, so don't quote me on that. Um, and... I don't remember what the what the men get for um, winning the the king their king of the arena, um, but the women's believe it or not it's called queen of the arena. So you know it's same concept, just different name, but you know it, it's still within the same event. I'm very very excited to be uh, commentating that event, and if you guys want to check it out, head over uh, get Second Life. Uh, it's free. Get yeah, get get Second Life, get the Firestorm or whatever launcher you want to use. Head over to Empire City, uh, where VWE will be located during King of the. I think I'm not entirely sure, so again, don't quote me on that. I think it's in Empire City, um, and uh, or go over to Patreon. I'll put it in the description below. Uh, where you guys can support VWE for only $1. Uh, you can literally see all their streams and stuff for just a dollar. I'm doing it. Paul is doing it. Everybody I know is doing it. It's it's $1. What, what are you using? <clears throat> what are you using a dollar for? Getting stale donuts? Come on. So, Yeah. Save, save your money from the stale donuts. Use it to support VWE. We need all the support we can get. Um, it, it, it would be much, much appreciated. So, yeah. Anywho, that's um, pretty much all that's going on. I think uh, King of the Arena begins at around... 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is, I think, 5 p.m. Uh, Second Life Time, which is Pacific Standard. So, it's around that time. I, I, I It's around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern, so I'll, I'll basically be there doing pre-show and whatnot um, and all that good stuff. I'm going to be talking with, uh, with the chairman to do some <clears throat> YouTube related stuff that involves my channel. Um, for those that still don't know for whatever reason, I'm in uh, I am a commentator for VWE. I was recently, uh, I want to say hired on, but I was brought on to the company um, to basically get my wrestling, wrestling, uh, feel or wrestling itch itched you know it got 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 it got it got it get that back scratched somehow so you know gotta get that itch scratched somehow <clears throat> and uh commentary is pro is literally the best thing that i've probably ever done um ever probably since the beginning of this channel which 10 years coming I, got, I literally got like a few more months until the 10th anniversary of this channel. I, I, I'm just excited for it. So, you know, coming the following months, uh, we'll get started with uh, Death Eater Day, of course. June 4th is Death Eater Day, the day I created this channel. Um, and I go by that specific day because I can't remember off the top of my head when I created my very first video because that video I'm pretty sure is long delete has been long deleted since a lot of those videos those very first videos were of me talking shit about my high school those videos have been since deleted and uh, moved on very drastically from that um, to where I am today. Uh, so yeah, anyways, like I was saying before, I'm going to talk to him about doing some stuff on my YouTube channel, maybe some interviews, um, 
maybe even ask some um, some of the champions uh, if, if they would like to do some videos, maybe talk to, uh, the, or like I said, talk to the chairman to ask if it's okay if I do these interviews. It'd be great. It'd be, it'd help promote VWE in, in the long run or even do them on their own channel if they feel it'd be better put on their channel instead of my own channel. I'm good either way with it. I just want to like give them an example of what I can do as a commentator, uh, an interviewer, um, basically one death theater being one death theater because God damn it, I am a former pro wrestling owner. Um, I, I started literally the longest running Roblox wrestling group that unfortunately ended due to some circumstances between me and Kelly. So after all that, I decided to switch over from Roblox to Second Life because goddamn, I'm sick and tired of the fucking drama. And I'm sick and tired of being accused of things that didn't clearly happen. There's no proof. So they can't. They can't do anything about it. They haven't done anything about it because they can't. So what else are they going to do? They're just going to throw shit at me? Just say, oh, you did this. You did that. I don't care. I'm in VWE. I'm in a better place right now. I feel like I've been in a better place since I was brought on. I feel happy, actually. I, I, I'm very happy right now, even though I'm exhausted as hell from work this week. Um, very, very exhausted. But hey, I get some time to myself, at least. I get some time to uh, sit down, relax, take a stream on Friday instead of going from work to RWE, literally, like, as soon as I get off of work, I literally have to run to RWE and uh, host the show since Kelly can't do it or whatever. That was literally the last few weeks that I was on Roblox. So, you know what? It doesn't matter. I had fun while it lasted. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a future video. But... Until then, I'm having a lot of t a lot of fun in VWE. I'm having a lot of fun with the streams. If you guys want to check it out, uh, the link to my Twitch is down below. Make sure you hit that follow button and the uh, notification bell on Twitch so you get notified whenever I go live. I have around 80 followers now, so it's very, very good. I'm also trying to get a uh, content creator tag off of a uh, GTA RP group called... Florida Law Enforcement. Um, Florida Law Enforcement is a Grand Theft Auto RP um, thing off of the 5M um, GTA RP servers, I guess. Um, 5M is a downloadable um, little software that uh, lets you create your own GTA RP or private kind of server thing for you or your friends or start your own RP thing, or even join other RPs. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just uh, giving them free promotion. I'm also giving FLE some free promotion. So, you know, head on over, search FLE. I think the servers are down now, and I think the servers are being relocated tomorrow on a different server. Um, but it's still gonna be on 5M as far as I know. So don't worry about that. It's still going to be on 5M. Um, I'm just trying to get a content creator badge so I can stream GTA RP whenever I'm, um, whenever I'm playing on the server. I would literally be streaming while I'm on the server. So it'll be great. I, it, it'd be great because I, I want to get involved in this, well, this this great community, this community that I just so happened to join is actually a really great community. Uh, it's a much, in my opinion, it's, it's a more developed community than say Eclipse where all they really care about is, um, or Eclipse and no, no pixel where all they care about are streamers and, um, streaming time. And, and literally that's all they fucking care about. 
I've yet to even get accepted into either of those fucking places. Actually, I don't even know if I've gotten accepted into Eclipse yet, but, you know, I've already told them that I'm in a few of these other communities, so I'll most likely be on their servers um, whenever. But they know uh, that I'm on other communities, so I'm going to check out Eclipse and see if I've been accepted. If not, then I don't even care. I know no uh, I know no pixel is most likely not going to going to accept me even though I'm currently donating to them so you know that's whatever I'll just not donate to them anymore I don't care it's not my problem but uh that's a that's a that's fifteen dollars I'm never gonna see again but Yeah, it, it's it's whatever at the end of the day. Um, so no pixel eclipse um, two uh, two uh, Discord groups that I don't really care about. Um, I don't, I don't really care. Oh, I got kicked from uh, Twitch RP um, for simply asking how long is it going to take. To get my application um, reviewed for getting onto a whitelist, uh, getting onto their whitelist uh, thing, to get on their whitelist, and I got kicked for it. I get, I literally got kicked, and the excuse that I got was because you're not popular enough. That was literally the reason. So that's another video for another day. I got a whole list of videos to do um, about a few of these GTA RP servers. And let me just tell you, you're not going to get big if all you're doing is allowing streamers and nobody else. That's not how you get good. Uh, that, that's not how you get a good community. You get a good community by allowing people in like FLE is. Lily has two servers, a sandbox server and an economy server. Currently, the economy server is down. They're still fixing that up, but it's also one of the most less used servers, um, mostly because it requires a whitelist. So, you know, I'm currently whitelisted in it, though, so maybe once the server gets going, I can get in it and do some RP, but, uh, it's whatever at the end of the day. Um, uh, I'm still hanging out on their sandbox server. It's free. So, you know, it's just whatever. I'm enjoying this community. It's a great community. Everybody there in FLE is very, very friendly and open-minded and they help people. That's, that's what I like about servers like FLE, is that they help people. Eclipse and NoPixel, you get no response. In Twitch RP, you get kicked because you're not popular enough. So. You know, it's whatever at the end of the day. I don't really care. So. I'm in a, I'm in a pretty good place right now. I, I got pretty lucky with uh, FLE. So. You know, they get the free advertisement. Those other servers won't. So, you know, it's it's whatever. I'm literally giving, I'm giving out free advertisement. I'm not being paid by FLE or 5M to promote them or FLE's server. I'm, I'm not. I'm really not. In fact, I'm more or less giving FLE more of a good name because of how friendly everybody is. And it's such a, it, it, FLE is such a serious server too, or it's such a serious community. They take their roles as a law enforcement officer very, very seriously within that Discord group and within those servers. They take that crap, I, I won't say crap, but they take that very, very seriously. And I love it. I, I really do love it. I, I love, I love how serious they can be 
but they could also be your best friend at the same time. So, you know, I, I love servers like that where they, they love getting involved. I just wish that there were other servers like that out there, but I get, you, you can't catch them all, I, I guess, at the end of the day. See what I did there? Um, so yeah, I'm going to be streaming iRacing until I get that content creator badge. I'm probably just going to ping the living crap out of um, whoever I need to ping. But you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. As soon as I get my content creator badge, I'm going to just simply ask if I can, you know, give them, I'm giving literally them free advertisement. I'm giving them a good name. They can literally see that from this video, but it, if, if they don't want it, that's fine. I'm still giving them free advertisement, but not by not showing them the server, I'm pretty sure that's part of the rules, but currently I need a content creator badge to uh, stream on their server and post videos from their server. So it's all good. Um, very happy either way to be on, to be on their server. So, you know what? It's, it's all good. Anyways, I do apologize about how long this video is. I actually probably should get going because it's 10. It's actually 10 Oh three. So I need to, I need to actually get, get going, get my, get my shoes on, get my boots get going and then boogie basically for the rest of the fucking day <sighs> I, I, I will tell you guys this as a closing statement that I am so fucking glad that the mornings are freaking nice and cool and then I can literally just chill inside help do whatever not be outside in the uh, 80 degree and then future 90 degree temperatures throughout the rest of the fucking day like literally 1 p.m. to uh, through 5 p.m. I have the sun literally blazing down on me I, I, I just took a shower last night not sure if you noticed my hair being all messy but I took a shower last night because of just how dirty I was simply from the past th three days of just running around. So, ugh, I need to take more. Uh, I need to, uh, I don't know. I need to take more showers more often. I should take a shower maybe every every other day or at, maybe not even every other day at least every night before I go to bed just so I don't feel dirty but it's all whatever at the end of the day fairly happy as it is so you know it's whatever anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video feel free to hit that like button or the dislike button, doesn't matter. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comments below. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, for the upcoming future of this channel. Um, sometime within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to get a um, video capture device to start streaming off my PlayStation and maybe off of my Switch that I have right here in my hand that I usually take the work with me if I happen to be bored and not doing anything important. Um, other than that, that is all that I have to say for now. So thank you guys uh, for watching. Uh, if you want more of this content, leave me a subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you get notified whenever I uh, upload a video here onto the channel. And I know I said this already, but follow me over on Twitch um, and hit the notifications bear so you get uh, bear there so you get notified whenever I go live on Twitch. Support BWE, the link is also in the description. So on and so forth. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always,
I will see you guys next video. Another fucking day in paradise, am I right? Have a nice day. Have a nice rest of the week. And I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, before King of the Arena. Maybe. Mostly, hopefully. But you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm tired as hell. I'm going to work. I know this video is long, but I had a lot of things to say. So, you know what? It's whatever. Bye-bye.